On June 26, the Outreach LGBTQ Catholic Ministry Conference gathered over 300 people from all around the world to reflect on reaching out to LGBTQ Catholics in parishes, schools, and families. This year, we still weren't quite able to meet in person. We'll do that next year. But we had an amazing day of sharing best practices, building community, worshiping together, and sharing our faith. Maybe the biggest highlight was an unexpected one, a letter from Pope Francis on the occasion of the conference, which we read in the original Spanish and English. The Holy Father talked about the way that God loves all of us with, in his words, closeness, compassion, and tenderness, and then promised to pray for all of us in this flock, meaning LGBTQ Catholics. The next day I shared the letter on social media and it was picked up not only by outlets like Vatican News, but also in the mainstream media. That meant that the Pope's message for LGBTQ people and those who minister with them was heard around the world. Here are a few of the other speakers and some highlights from our day-long webinar. May your spirit be upon all of us as we celebrate and uphold with pride the dignity of all your children, diverse and wonderful as they are. Bless our efforts to imitate the ministry and love of Jesus. You have LGBTQ plus students in your classroom. You know what these statistics look like. Schools know, and they are to be, I, I recommend that they are proactive. Don't wait for the students to come out to you. Don't wait for um, the student to have the mental health uh, issue. Uh, schools, I, I want schools and teachers to do the research and be proactive. Remind the students of God's love, your love and the community's love. All real and good change happens slowly. Change comes about when we speak up. There's no other way. If we didn't speak up, we, we wouldn't be able to change. We have to have people willing to give voice to their ideas. Live the gospel imperative. Do not hide your light under a bushel. God loves LGBTQ people. The church is still learning. And I think if this is how we need to frame our understanding as educators, that without generosity of spirit and without a capacious imagination, we cannot actually do this work because we will only then do work that is a band-aid or that fixes things rather than bringing to this all of our capacious imagination. We are all beloved children of God and our most secure and unfailing family is within the body of Christ. And that's the family that God is calling us to strengthen and unify now in our homes and in our churches. And what would you say to that, JR? I would say that if, if, if we truly believe that everyone is family and the church is the family of God and that we really want to support the family, that we have to acknowledge who is in the family. The fundamental Judeo-Christian conviction is that every human person has equal dignity, value, and worth as an image of the Creator, and all means all. No buts, no ands, no exclusions, no small prints. No one is an afterthought in the, in the view of the Creator. The upshot is that we are not free until all are free. Thanks to everyone who made this conference possible, especially our many benefactors like the Raskob Foundation and our co-sponsors, Fordham University's Center for Religion and Culture and America Media. God willing, we'll see you next year in person at Outreach 2022.